This is the Linda Murray Experience. I'm Linda Murray, eight times Miss Olympia, along with Franciele Matos, three times Miss Olympia, and today we're literally gonna kick some ass. You have the best glutes in the world. So ladies, <laughs> this is something you don't wanna miss. Yeah, we show today for all the women, a leg and the glutes training. <laughs> So, Francielli, you're going to demonstrate straight leg deadlifts. And this is an old school one. I love straight leg deadlifts. Yeah. So, this is one of my favorite exercise for this part of the body. I love it because uh, this constriction in uh, separation in glutes and the. Um, in your hamstrings. Yes, it's so important for the wellness category, bikini category too. And I love this kind of exercise. Okay, okay. So you have a close grip, I see that. Wow. Yep, working the, the glutes. So you, this is predominantly, you think of the connection between the glutes and the hamstrings. Yes. Good. Yep, and I noticed that you're going parallel to the floor. That's awesome. And she's not standing all the way back up. Yep, that's right. Very good. That's excellent. I think the most important in this exercise is you do slow. You do it slow. Slow, exactly. A lot of far you feel this connection. You need to have this connection, glutes and the uh, and, um, and and your hamstrings. Yeah. Glutes and your hamstrings. Yes. This is so important. Slow. So how many sets do you do? Um, four or five, depend. If I started with this exercise, five. Okay, if you start with this, with this yes. weight here, yes. and this bar is 45 pounds, so what's, tell me the maximum weight and your repetitions. What's your goal oh, as far repetition. as repetitions? I like in 10, 12, if uh, uh, more than 12, I put a little more Weight. Okay. okay, so you're not afraid of weight. Yeah, no, a lot of repetition I, I, I don't like, for example. I, 10 is good, I think for me 10 is good. Uh -huh. I have this connection and uh, my, my muscle feels strong in 10 repetitions. Okay, so when you reach that 10th rep, is that like your maximum, you cannot do you probably could do 15 reps, but you're shooting for a weight where you can only do 10 reps, 12 reps? Yes, I try. For example, if I, I do 10, oh, easy, more. There you go. One more, one more. Oh, mm -hmm. it's easy. Put more, more. Um, yeah, more weight, weight on. Weight yes. one more repetition. Okay, yes. I see. So that's really key, and a lot of women are afraid of adding weight and your goal is if you set it for 10 repetitions, you want to use a weight that's challenging. Exactly. Where you no. can't do 20 reps. Yeah, because wellness training very hard. Yes. And the, you need to put a... Uh, um, um, I, I understand your maximum weight. You need to put the weight, in, right? In, in, um, <laughs> no, that's right. He, he is doing great. So demonstrate it. Do one more. So, so this would be like your warm up set. What would? How much weight would you put on this? In the in this bar. Um, would you have like a twenty five on each side? Yes. Twenty five. Yes. Is this maximum weight? No, the maximum would be a forty five. No, that's a lot, huh? No, I put. Uh, 30. Oh, okay. So this and yes. probably a 10. Yeah. So could you demonstrate a, what you like to demonstrate? Sure. Is it sure. because you have not really it's warmed different. up, warmed up? When you put a. Yes. So let's do that. Because I really want women to see this. I mean, if you guys look at, I want you to really look at this, her beautiful, the beautiful shape. 
of her body. Like this is the end thing now to have this body. This is the ultimate body. The little small waist, her nice glutes, her quads, her hamstrings. And how much do you weigh? Your the, weight. My weight? Your weight. Uh, six, uh, 60. 60, 60 kilo, kilos. Kilos, yes. which would be, you've got to be. One one fifteen? One hundred and fifteen. One hundred and fifteen yeah. pounds. Like yeah. that's the amazing guys. <laughs> so let's see, let's just and I don't want you to do anything that and I just want you really notice her her great form, how she's taking her time through each repetition. She's not going all the way to the floor. She's taking her body parallel. Body is parallel to the floor. She's not touching the weight as she's standing back up, but she's not standing all the way back up. She's keeping that tension on her um, glutes and her hamstrings. That's awesome. Beautiful. We're looking at the best in the world here. Three times in the wellness division. Excellent, that's good. Good set. There we go. Shooting for 10 reps. She said that's great. That's excellent. That's perfect, perfect. I love yes, yeah. I love straight leg deadlifts. I think um, when people, when we talk about straight leg deadlifts, people think it means your legs are straight and locked out. Yes. But your legs are not, right? Let me see. Just you don't have to do the exercise. Demonstrate. Are your legs slightly bent? Are they slightly bent throughout the movement? Okay. And you don't have to do the actual weight. Okay, that's a and this is a different, this would be like a deadlift. Yeah. Deadlift. Her legs are further apart. And if you notice, she keeps that bar close to her body. It's almost like that bar runs up and up her uh, shins into her calves. Great, good job. That was perfect. Mm -hmm. So two, you just demonstrated two exercises yeah. that are in the deadlift family. You can do in all the, 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 the gym because of the bar in the, uh, it's easy, for example, to do at home to, you can do mm -hmm. this all day. Yes, yes, yes. So you can do this at home if you have a bar, or you yeah. can do it with, with um, dumbbells, yeah. right? Yes, yes. But you prefer the bar. I prefer the bar, too. <laughs> yes, yes. And that was excellent form. Um, again, two exercises in the deadlift family, straight leg deadlifts and the regular deadlifts that we saw powerlifters do, except you had a, you had a, um, uh, your knees were pointed out a little. Yeah. Show and me. Like for example, my my. Yes, knees, your knees. My knees in the, the same direction as your toes. Exactly. So you guys see this this angle yeah. here. I love, for example. Wow. Do a lot of. Uh, That's great. And I see when you do it, it's, you have constant tension on the muscle throughout. Yes, I love this, con this connection. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in the past, I didn't work with a lot of uh, waste. Mm -hmm. I prefer this connection, but now I have this connection, yeah, I can do training very hard. I see. Yes, I think this is a process, you know? Mm. First, you need to understand your body. Mm -hmm. Understand your limit, mm -hmm. and after hard training, hard yes. training. This is a, this constriction is so important. Mm -hmm. I love that. Understand the process. Yeah. So when you start, you start meet yourself where you are. You don't start with heavy weight. You, she focused. Francielli focused on the form. Yeah. 
and and the mind and body connection exactly and uh, you need the time for understand your body mm -hmm. it's a a lot of girls I, I started now in the gym i would like competition uh, competing wait a minute you need the time for constriction your body understand your body and uh, improve your body every day mm -hmm. a little every day mm -hmm. this is so yeah good. yeah and uh, guys you you may not know this or you should know this you are a mother of two <laughs> yeah the mother of two and you're tell me the ages of your your daughters uh, yes my daughters giovanna is 15 mm -hmm. in my son um, and it makes um, next month 12. 12. Yeah. Wow. So, and how long have you been weight training and exercising? I started to uh, do exercise after have my first kid, Giovanna. Wow. Because uh, I passed for a postpartum depression and it was a very difficult moment in my life. And uh, because this, I love this lifestyle. I love uh, mm -hmm. uh, this energy because uh, Change, changing mm -hmm. my life, mm -hmm. all the details, my mind, mm -hmm. more stronger. Mm -hmm. I'm a good mother because uh, this lifestyle changes at all. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that's just amazing that you did the point where you started. Mm -hmm. Like you started after childbirth, yeah. right? Yeah. It, yeah, so that's, that's ladies, that means that you can do it. It's never too late. And you look so amazing because you do not look like you have a daughter mm -hmm. that's 15. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, this is an incredible body. So then let's move on to uh, demonstrate. Are there, are there any other exercises? I, I saw you, you do an exercise with the bar where you lay, uh -huh. where you're on yes. here. A lot of girls have a question. About let me, let me, I'll exercise. move this in place for yeah. you. Yeah, because I saw you on Instagram doing this exercise. You do this exercise or no? Um, I, you know what? It was, back in the day, it was old school because we didn't have yeah. all this fancy mm -hmm. stuff. So we had to learn to use free weights. Yes. So I'll Pretty take this old. off. In, no. You, this is, yeah. see? <laughs> <laughs> this is, now see. In Brazil, for I've example. never done this heavy. Oh, really? Yeah, which is awesome. But, but it, but it, but I would if I were back competing. Yeah. In Brazil is, uh, a lot of, for example, a lot of uh, coaches loves this exercise, mm -hmm. and a lot of train uh, uh, coaches. Oh no, this exercise is no good. I think don't exist. Oh, it's not good. This exercise. Mm -hmm. You need to try and feel. Oh, I like it. I have a connection. It's good for you. I and, see. Uh, you need to. Uh, have this experience uh -huh. and try. Yes, and try. try. Yeah, because I think I saw you, you had a 45 pound on each yeah. side. Yeah, I do this exercise very, very, okay. very hard. Okay. So this is one, I want to see how you get into this movement. <laughs> I know when I, I, we talked about this. So this is awesome. And this, this is the thing also, ladies. You gotta like actually do these exercises and figure out how to do them on your own so you don't have to ask a man always to help. Awesome. Wow. This is great. So is it good? Always, she has control of that weight? Yeah. All the time. All the time throughout the movement? Exactly. Yep. And with a lot of uh, um, a good, uh, a good and, um, I, I don't know the name, uh, along in um, a big, um, movement, no short movement. Ah, you know? I understand. Your yeah. range of movement is yeah. really good. She almost goes right, she go right to the floor. Exactly. Yes, exactly. and then brings it, and brings it right no, back up. No, here. no little short movements. No, exactly. Down and full range. So where do you feel this when you do this exercise? 
Oh. You fill it in your lower back and your glutes. Do you do it predominantly for your? Um, more here. For your glutes. Yeah. You do this for yes. your glutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And the dependent here too. Okay, and, and the, in the insertion exactly. in the glutes and the hamstrings, one of the things that we always look for yes. when you're on stage, that's what I look for when you turn to the rear. Yeah, exactly. And the uh, you have this. Um, so I like that technique of how you got in that weight. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, the glutes, you need to uh, do a lot of exercise for construction because the glutes have a lot of parts, no? Yeah. Here, for example, this part, this part, this part, mm -hmm. you need the work mm -hmm. all. Mm. Because, uh, for example, I love do a, uh, um, I don't know. Not, not squats. Squat. Oh, oh, with the, with the Smith, with yes, the Smith machine? I love it. But this kind of exercise mm. works different. Mm -hmm. And uh, because this is so good, you have uh, one day for you training only glutes. Mm -hmm. Because the glutes is so, it's hard, you have this connection. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And you pointed out something that I, I've noticed um, as I've gotten older. I love doing squats, right? But something's happened in as I age where that upper part where you were referring to, point to that again. Here. Right there. I love I love to do this exercise too. Yes. Yes, I like it. And this one too. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is so oh. Yes. It's so good too. Wow. Good and the and that way. Yeah. Yes, I want to see you yeah. demonstrate I that. I like this exercise too. I think it is try. Try, feel, oh, I like it. No, I don't like this one. Uh -huh. And try, change. Uh huh. <laughs> this is that, that's very good. That's, yeah. that's such a great point to make because yeah. I think, um, you know, most of the fans out there and then they see you and then they watch you know what your exercises mm -hmm. and maybe it doesn't necessarily work for them but you said you have to find your own yeah <laughs> and what works for you yeah yeah and um, I think for example uh, when you um, have this connection when you do your train is different because uh, you, it's not necessary, for example, you pass uh, two hours in the gym. Mm -hmm. You pass one hour, 45 minutes, it's enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think... Uh, okay, it's yes, enough. It's enough. It's exactly. enough. I don't, a lot of girls, I pass two times, two, two hours. Two hours. Gym. And uh, okay, but don't felt uh, your glutes uh, very well. And the, the most important mm -hmm. is you have one protocol you can follow and uh, giving you um, um, yeah I do uh, 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 something to measure it by a blueprint yeah y yeah yeah exactly. so you yeah and that that goes back to it's not who trains the hardest but who trains the smartest yeah like it's about training smart exactly and training you know smart. and exactly. you know what you're doing you have yeah the exercises that you're going to do. It doesn't mean you need to be in the gym for two hours. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll start to and, get to uh, know. And the two, for example, um, pick up a one protocol and follow. Mm -hmm. Follow this protocol because a lot of girls, for example, ah, I follow these mm -hmm. girls and mm -hmm. I pick up this exercise mm -hmm. and put in my routine. No, <laughs> you need to a follow three months or four months the same protocol uh, for you for you felt felt uh -huh. felt the the result this is important to your body need to understand man focus focus in this protocol mm. and uh, this protocol uh, giving you more experience and uh, after all uh, i would like put one exercise more perfect and uh, little mm. by little 
understand mm -hmm. your body, okay, but because there are exercises you do in the gym, oh, I didn't felt in nothing, but in an other day, oh my God, my glutes, ah. mm -hmm. it, this is so important, mm -hmm. you understand. Okay? Yeah. That was well said. That that says it all. It really, yeah. it really, really does. It was yeah. well said, and I hope you ladies heard that because yeah. that's really the key. Yeah, and don't have afraid to do a hard training. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Go to the gym with this mentality. Mentality. Yes. Yes, and uh, yeah, the, the 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 leg day started one day before in your house what you you choose for you eat for example and uh, another day you do the best training in your life mm -hmm. and your training started one day before eat more and it is in the day you wow, you do the best training in your life mm -hmm. yes so let's go on to i want do you have a strap for your wrist the, the, that's I okay but let's just let's just mimic that okay. because i see a lot of okay. women doing that movement Ooh. yeah let's mimic and let's see yeah put no weight on let's see it's not straight out good and your body need to maintain no okay no. i got it yeah Stop it, only the glutes. Only the glutes. Yeah. And she's keeping her legs straight. She's planted that foot and that leg and she's keeping that position. Control. Good control. She's not taking, is she's following that same line of training. She's not over here to, to the left. She's not over to the right because that would hit it in a different way. That's awesome. We can do this. And now, very good. And now she's bending that leg. And there, I would think that would you would feel that in a different way. That would be getting some definite hamstrings in there because there's that curl. She's curling and then going up. Wow. 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 This one, would you like to try? You said, would I like yeah. to try? Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anybody to see my glutes. <laughs> oh, gosh. That would be kind of... You ooh. have a beautiful body. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Thank you. Ooh, I haven't done these in forever. <laughs> this would be interesting. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> okay. Let me see that weight. Okay. Yeah. So you planted your foot here. Yeah. You were flat. Yeah. And yeah. up. Freedom. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can really feel it. Only here. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Stop. Just right here. Stop right there. Just two seconds. And then back up. Yeah. Perfect. Woo! Only here. Three more. Yes. More. One more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. And that's where I'm, I just, I notice like with age, I do squats, I do leg press, mm -hmm. but I've noticed like in yeah. the top, something's happened at the squats, yes. I'm not getting that. The first step is different when you try and have this connection. When you try to do, for example, Steve or other exercise, your connection improves a lot. Uh -huh. This kind I'm... of exercise is so wow. good for you. Training this connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's this is. I'm going to incorporate this oh, into my. Good. Yes, yes, it's excellent. Ooh, I can, I can even, I can really feel yes. that. The most important thing. Um, stop it here and only this. 
Okay, I see just a little short range from there to there. I got it. Wow, I really, oh yeah. Almost got a cramp doing it. <laughs> yeah. And this one. Uh huh. Yes, okay. So those are the two that you do using this. Is there something else different on here that yes. you do? You can do this one. I see. And this is continuous tension on yeah. the muscle. Exactly. Continuous throughout the movement. No, yes. Exactly. No stop it here, no. Okay. All the time. Turn, return. Okay. Wow, that's great. You can stop it here two seconds mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and return. Wow, that's great, that's great, that's great. That's excellent. Yeah, all the women, we, they're striving for this physique. <laughs> and so you said you do your legs three times, you do? Now, one, once a week, the glutes and the three, and two, we focus in the- oh, With the legs, yeah, exactly. okay. But in the past, I improved my, my glutes a lot because uh, I, I did two, two, two times a- uh, mm -hmm. um, Oh, you did glutes yes, too, exactly. twice, I yeah, see. Twice. I see. I passed two years to the same uh, train two times a week for uh, only focusing glutes. Okay. But now change. Okay. Focusing legs. <laughs> I understand, yes, I understand. The, ju the judge's feedback was uh, to bring a little more volume in the class. Okay, I see. Yes. I see. <laughs> so that's, um, and that's another example of when you started with your protocol in the beginning, like it's evolved and things have changed. And as a competitor, the judges, they give you feedback. And so you had to change up that. Yes, it's so important. You follow the, the, the judges because the judges know what they would like to see in the, in the, 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 in the championship. And I think this is so important. Uh -huh, yes. I love, for example, uh, improve my body, mm -hmm. and when I listen, oh, you need uh, to bring more volume. Okay, perfect. Yes, you can yes, love yes. It. I know, and I'm gonna make this point real quick. When the wellness division, I was there when you won your first wellness, and you you are the first Ms. Wellness. So we were all looking for what the judges, what they would choose as an example. And I just feel like with your physique, you you were the perfect example because, yeah, because there were other women that they were talking about coming up. Like, yeah. I think it was, I think that year Angela Borges yeah. competed and also, um, uh, uh, it's Isa. Good. Yes, Isa. Isa, and um, so the judges showed you, you had the perfect level of leanness and shape and structure and yes. your whole presentation was flawless. Yeah, I think uh, this, this uh, presentation and this body, it was the best mm -hmm. in my career. Okay, yeah. And uh, I felt very happy because uh, uh, I love the wellness category uh -huh. and yes. uh, wow, show the wellness for the world. It's incredible. Yeah, stay yeah. here in the United States, uh, show the wellness for the world is, is yeah, incredible. Yeah. And uh, I love it. Yeah, I loved your, your, your glute and hamstring tie-in versus the others. I'm not sure if Angela mm -hmm. placed second or Third, in the first, in in the the first, first year, Olympia, she, she placed second. second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She had a different glue. Yeah. Glue. Your glue. Yeah. Yeah. It was of, perfect. I a lot of people. Oh, your glutes. It's very different. Like, yes. Yes. We uh, work at a lot in this part. Yeah. And uh, it it was a, a it makes a difference in the, yes. the in the championship. Yeah, it does. So let's. How about doing showing us sure. what you do on the leg press? Okay. My exercise with, uh, I don't know the Yeah, name. more distance in your, yes. your, a wider stance. Yeah. Yep, uh, so, okay. yeah, there you go. Because uh, this kind of uh, position work 
your legs, glutes in general. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. It's different, for example, you do this one. I work more. Yes. Quads. So closer stance, you're working yes, more of the quads quad. in the front, the yes. teardrop, and a wider stance. Yes. I like it to do this a lot of mm -hmm. a big. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. Wow, that's great. And getting all of. So when you do this, this is your. This is considered your your a leg exercise. Yes. And I know some women use it, and they do it. They'll use it for um, their glutes too sometimes. How do you, no, you do not. No. Okay. I okay. Have, uh, others, I ch I prefer others exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, leg press only when I focus in quads and the okay. hamstring. Yes. 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 Well, I, I'm de I've definitely learned something because. Um, but it's yeah. so good. For yes, you so good. It's it so is. Good. It is. Yeah. But I was predominantly depending on. I just did a traditional bodybuilder. I do squats. I do lunges. I do leg press, uh, seated leg curl. Um, you know, leg extensions. Yes. But never really, because in the beginning we didn't always have, we had cable machines, yeah, why not? but we didn't no. know, yeah. yeah, like some of these movements you've shown, yeah. it's like to, to focus on glutes. Yeah, for the skin, a lot of uh, bodybuilding focus in this kind of machine because you do, you can put a lot of uh, um, waste and um, you felt more comfortable. Mm -hmm. This kind of exercise, you need to have more connection, you need to think more, you need to pay attention. I think it's more challenging. Uh -huh. then. And for men, it's not a good position for <laughs> yeah, this yes. kind of exercise too. But for women, it's different. Okay. Women need more details in the uh -huh. I understand. How much weight do you normally put on this? How much weight? Do you oh, use weight. a lot of weight, like a... Uh, three, three hundred. Okay, so you'll have three, about 300, 300 ki kilos. kilos. Yes. And how many repetitions? Um, 10, 12. Okay, Maintain okay. This. Yes, if uh, um, I feel okay, put a little more more ways if uh, or more repetition one uh -huh. more one more or drops out uh, drop set yes drop set i love it too okay yes. yeah and that's another thing that um it's a really important part of the whole process of weight training is the amount of rest you have between sets so um you have the structure and the size and you're not really doing like hurry up do a set and then uh, 10 seconds or 30 seconds, how much rest? Ah, okay. Um, depend, for example, this kind of exercise when you use a lot of uh, heavy, uh, I need more time to recover. Yes. Yes, uh, one minute and 30, two minutes, depend. Uh -huh. This kind of exercise. Uh, but I love to do, for example, different methodology. Uh -huh. For example, oh, do a weight uh, 10 seconds, and uh, my my coach love this kind of methodology. Uh -huh. And then you put a drop set or I don't know, change a lot, uh -huh. and then you felt uh, terrible in the <laughs> final exercise. Yes. And it depends, it depends on the, the, the day, the mm -hmm. big strategy. Mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this is like so amazing because everything that we've gone through today, you've confirmed the importance of like um, weight, using a weight that you can really feel and having a designated amount of repetitions, 12 to 15 reps, yes. not really necessarily high re reps. Yes. You've confirmed the importance of rest between sets that you basically, when you do a set, you want to rest Perfect. where that, when you go to the next set, Perfect. you can do it with yes. that same Perfect. strength. Exactly. This is the base, uh, 
very well. Uh, when you do very well, is enough. It's enough. It's enough. It's not necessary you do a lot of things. No, the the base. Is enough. Yeah, oh. yeah. This is great. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> so we've done um, uh, the different two different types of deadlifts: straight leg deadlifts, um, the regular you know, wide leg deadlifts. We we did the um, uh, cable, cable cable kickbacks mm -hmm. and leg press. Do you do lunges? Lunges. Yeah, like lunge. Oh yeah. Or walking. I, I, I figured you did. So yeah, keep, I love. And lunges are so great because women yes, can I do them at it. home, and they can. That's like to me, they're just yeah. powerhouses. Yeah. Where do we want to demonstrate a lunge? When I started to make uh, to the gym, I do only leg press. The what's the name? The the uh, lunge. The lunge. lunge. And the. Uh, the the, the, um, the the Smith machine, the Smith machine. where you stood out. Yes. yes, three only the three. Only those three. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. It, it was and it worked. It, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because this, I think, you put a little, change a little your your heart training. It's not necessary. You start in the gym and do ten exercise. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. put. A, with a time. Wow. I would like to do here. Demonstrate the yes. Smith machine. Okay. So awesome. The Smith machine. Ah, great. This is perfect. Wow. So what I love about this is that, you know, with the Smith machine, you can't do this movement like this. You couldn't do this with a regular squat rack because the balance, and that's great. So she's going parallel to the floor, that quads going parallel to the floor, coming all the way up, and all that focus is on that leg. Oh, that's great. Yep. Perfect. Oh, that's great. Great form, and she's keeping her her body protecting her her midsection and not and her back and not at an awkward position. She's actually really truly mimicking what a squat looks like. Wow. Very good. Good job. That's great. I love this exercise. Yeah, that's great. It feels so good. Uh-huh, it feels so good. That is awesome. That's awesome. Great job. Okay. Yeah, because in the United States, um, like, this is the body that the women want. But in Brazil, you guys have been training legs and glutes exactly. for a long time. Exactly. And the women here tend to take a uh, um, lazy approach the ones that don't really understand weight training, not the competitors. Because yes. I feel like our competitors in wellness learn from you guys. Yes. Really. And like you're the basis of wellness, where it came from, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the, um, the girls need to understand, for example, the wellness training is a little different because the wellness and bikini need to maintain the, 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 um, mm -hmm. the weight. Yes. And uh, yes, I need to do a hard training, but I need to pay attention too in the line. Mm. Uh, this is so important. I would like uh, the girls here to understand because these need that time, work little by little mm -hmm. for construction the muscle in the in the um, in what you exactly you need. For example, is leg, glutes and the shoulders mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's okay not here yes the, yes time. yes and it's, it's proven that you can do it you can have beautiful quads mm -hmm. this size and the glutes without having a wide waist yeah and also it's interesting i'm going to say this last I was talking to someone and we talked about women bodybuilders and how for some reason 
their butts are really sometimes pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm true. like, how did you get a pretty yeah, butt? Exactly. How did you get a pretty yeah. butt and it yeah. doesn't look like a man? Yeah, it's a so big... beautiful butt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not so good. Exactly. Uh, yeah. At this point, I would like the girls to understand. Yeah. Because these need a time. Yeah. Little by little. Yes, well, thank you so much, Francielli, for um, demonstrating what it takes to get this beautiful physique. Thank you. Yeah, so many women out there, you inspire them because you're a mother. And you're three times Ms. Olympia Best in the World, just off of also winning the Miss International Wellness. Um, and uh, you told us the importance yeah. of weights, heavy weights that, heavy that you can control. Exactly. Uh, all the, 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 um, the most important in my, my training is you have a heavy training, but have this connection, makes you understand your body. This is so important. If you would like a construction, a very beautiful and big glutes, big legs, mm -hmm. you need to understand that you need to have this connection, uh, mental and muscle. These connections mm -hmm. is so important for you mm -hmm. understand your body and grow, mm -hmm. grow your muscle. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for joining, thank you. joining us. And love it. Yeah, we're gonna, so many <laughs> ladies are gonna be watching this because I learned something today. That's I really true. did. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. We'll see thank you on you. the next episode. <laughs>